Hey guys and girls, welcome back to my Python SQL Lite tutorial series. Um, I hope you've watched part one to five. Um, if not, check out the link in the description. Okay, so in today's tutorial, we are gonna be finishing off um, the database. Uh, so we've so far set up a database, created a table, learned how to insert data into that table. Um, started to create a function to add a user. So what this function does is essentially um, when we run it, it asks the user to input a username and it then validates and checks whether that username is already in the database. And if it is, it asks the user to enter another username. What we're gonna to do today is finish it off by entering the rest of the fields we want to enter. So the first name, the surname and a password. And we're gonna do some validation by um, essentially confirming that the passwords match. So we'll get started straight away. So I'm gonna drop down under the while loop and just make sure I'm in the right place. So I wanna be uh, here, should be fine. Okay, so um, we're gonna start by creating a variable called first name. And we're gonna equal that to a user input and that's going to be, please enter your first name. Okay, we're going to need a surname. That's going to equal user input. Please enter your surname. And then uh, what we want it to do is uh, we want it to enter a password. So we will um, just ask for a password. So another variable, password equals input. Uh, please enter a password. We then need to verify that password, so we will get them to enter enter it again. So we'll create a variable called password one, and it's going to equal input. Please enter your password again. Okay, I'm going to drop down. And what we're gonna do is we are going to um, we're gonna uh, create the uh, validation. So we're gonna check the password. So we're gonna create a while loop. I'm gonna say while password is not equal to password one. We want it to do something and we want it to simply say print um, sorry your password does not match please try again and then we'll for speed we'll copy password password one here so this is we'll just get the user to re-enter the password reconfirm the password and that will overwrite those variables now as long as that as yeah as long as that um that works all okay it shouldn't be an issue so then we'll drop down and we're going to write the uh, code to uh, commit these um, variables to the database. So we'll get started by doing a variable called insert data, and that's going to equal um, the bit of SQL insert into, and we're putting it into the user table, and we're passing it uh, the username. the first name, the surname, and the password, like so. And the values 
will be stored as 1, 2, 3, 4. So passing it four things. Okay. And then we'll write the line of code that uses the cursor to manipulate the database. Cursor dot execute. And then we say and we tell it to use the variable insert data. Comma username comma first name comma surname comma password And then we will commit this to the database using db.commit. Like so. That should all work fine. So I've deleted the database. There's nothing in the database. Database doesn't exist at the moment. So uh, when we run it, we should it should create the database, create the table, create the first name, surname, password as test user Bill Smith password. So that should happen. It should commit that to the database. It will then run the um, new user function. And then once it's run the new user function, uh, it will print out the contents of the database. So let's try it. Okay, so it's asking for a username. So let's give it a username of test underscore user two. And that works. It says, please enter your first name. So let's call him Billy. Surname of Ray. Please enter a password. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, please enter it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and that's printed it out. So we've got our initial test user, Bill Smith, password, and then we've got a second user, test user two, Billy Ray, and the password. So that's brilliant, so that's worked. So let's run again. And we'll try entering test user two again, test uh, underscore user two. That username's already taken, please select another one. So let's do test underscore user three. First name, let's call it uh, Rob. Please enter surname, West. Please enter a password, one, two, three, four, five, six. Confirm, one, two, three. So you can see we've made an error there, so let's enter it. And it picks that up and that works fine as well. So, sorry, password does not match, please enter it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, enter. One, two, three, four, five, six, enter. And we can see there that that's working fine. We've got a test user Bill Smith, test user two, Billy Ray, test user three, uh, Bill Smith. And let's find test user three, Rob West. Perfect. Okay, so um, I hope you've learned something from this little series. I might do a bonus episode, um, depends how many likes the video gets um, or views. So remember to please share. Um, if it's helped you out, leave a like, and if you've got any questions, comment below. Um, thanks for watching. You know, channel doesn't work without uh, you guys and girls, so really appreciate the time you've put into watching the videos and learning some new skills. So catch you next time.